everyone. It's Laura Milligan. Happy Thursday. And thank you for joining me today. This is my Facebook Live Take Two. I do these Facebook Lives on Mondays and Thursdays. And I always show whatever I showcase on Monday. Normally, I share a couple more ideas with that same bundle or stamp set or whatever it is on Thursday. So that's why I call it Facebook Live Take Two. So I want to give you a lot of ideas and Today I am using the Friendly Flamingo bundle again and let me just check and make sure I'm, I've logged in right and that people are hopping on. If you're there, um, leave me a comment so that I, so that I know um, that you're there. There's Colleen. Hi Colleen. Thanks for, for hopping on today. And um, yeah, so I got a lot of really good response from the flamingo projects that I made on Monday. A lot of you are loving the flamingos, and um, I I am too. And you know, it never fails. It seems like once you start, um, if you get a bundle or a stamp set, and the more you play with it, the more you know you think of some more ways to use it. And that's kind of what happened with me with this friendly flamingo set. So um, there's a couple other people hopping on. Hi everybody. Um, Debbie and Myra and Sarah, Sarah, Tennessee Grand, your daughter's here today helping me. And um, I always love those days when she's here in my studio. So thank you all for joining in. Hi, Judy. Yeah, so we have people from Tennessee, Kentucky, Michigan, Ohio. That's really exciting. Really, really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and um, flip my camera down and... This is the, I'm gonna start by just showing you the Friendly Flamingo, it is this stamp set, and these are the dies, and there are two different flamingo dies. One of the dies actually cuts out this big flamingo from the stamp set, and then this one is just um, kind of a standalone uh, die cut flamingo, and I'm gonna be using using that, actually I'm using both of these today, both of the the stamp and and this die cut um, let me just show you quickly if you didn't catch my live on Monday let me just show you this was one of the cards that I made and I used the forever greenery designer paper that is retiring I use that for my leaves in the background it kind of makes me think of like a tropical tropical scene at the beach with you know lots of lush greenery so that was that one and then the other one I made was just super simple and I used the um this is the what I call the standalone flamingo die and the and I cut the wings as well and then I used the flirty flamingo DSP the polka dot DSP for the one in the middle and I, I think it, it makes it a lot of fun um actually so this was the first one that I had made when I was making up my samples to do this but I think when I did it on Monday well I know that I added the stitch whimsy dies and either one is fine but you can see the plain one is super cute but this this touch of whimsy dies it just creates this stitching all around and it just adds it just adds something it kind of kicks it up a notch so those were the cards i made on monday and hi Anne marie thanks for joining in so today i have two cards that I'm going to share with you and these are a little more involved than what I normally do. I'm usually a pretty clean and simple stamper but I wanted to kick it up a little bit today and show you some different ideas. So the first card I'm going to make is an easel card and if you've never made one of these before they're really easy to do. This is actually the first time I had made an easel card so um, it was actually pretty fun and once you make one, you'll learn how to do it, and um, I think you'll you'll enjoy it. So my designer paper today is from the Sand and Sea Designer Series Paper Stack. It is in the um, January to June mini catalog, and um, it is it is part of the um, suite of products that have the um, seashell stamp set, and there's the big um, die that cuts out, embosses and cuts out um, the seashells. It's pretty. It's a pretty big die, but this is the designer paper that goes with this. And I thought with you know the flamingos and the beach that I would, I could use this um, for my project today. So these are just two pieces of designer paper and. I should mention 
that if you go to my blog, which is lauramilligan.com, I have posted my projects from Monday. Uh, I believe those went up on Tuesday on my blog, and you can rewatch the replay of the Facebook Live, but you can also print up a PDF tutorial of um, the two cards that I made on Monday. And of course, with the tutorial, it lists all the products and also the measurements. So if you want to duplicate these cards, um, just head over to my blog and I will be putting these, the uh, measurements for these up as well. Um, it That'll usually go up tomorrow. I usually do it the next day. So I just have these two pieces of DSP. These are actually one and a quarter by four. And then I'm going to take um, a piece of Melon Mambo. And I've already cut this, but I'm going to, I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer to just show you. This is cut, um, three inches across by eight and a half. And then I scored it. And so of course this dark blade is the cutting blade. This light gray blade is what I use for scoring. And so all you do is line it up. So this is scored at two and an eighth. So I just find my two and an eighth, which is right there. And I go ahead and score that. And then I also score it at four and a quarter. So if you've never done any scoring, that's how I do that. Now we also have a scoring tool and I know um, we use that in my studio when we're prepping for like a big class or something and we have a lot of, or if we're making a box and we have to do a lot of scoring. But for the most part, I just use my paper trimmer. If you don't have a paper trimmer, this is a great one and it's only $25. Um, and it does have, if you're using 12 by 12 paper, um, you can pull this arm out too. So it extends, this actually goes 17 inches. So it is a great, great, great paper trimmer. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm putting this scored part up and I'm just going to attach this part to my card front. So I'll use my stamp and seal. And I'm just gonna center this. This is going to be, um, this is gonna fill up the whole height of the, of the card. Um, in other words, like it's going clear to the, it's flush with the top and flush with the bottom. So I have that part. I'm gonna set that aside for a minute and do some stamping. So I am going to start, and actually my, the sample that I made of this, sometimes, I am a morning person and sometimes I get up in the morning and I look at what I what I have prepared and I get another idea. And so um, today I woke up and I looked at this card and I thought it might be better switching up the colors a little bit. So I'm using Daffodil Delight. I'll show you my sample when I'm done here and you can tell me um, which one you like better. So I'm going to start with Blushing Bride and I'm just I'm gonna get my um, little stamp. I'm gonna use this little floral stamp with Blushing Bride ink. And actually before I do that, I'm changing my mind a little bit here. I'm going to stamp um, from this set. I love this Stand Tall and Stand Out. And if you know my family, my girls are all very tall. I am the short one in our family, which is fine, but um, I think being tall is a good thing. And you want to always stand tall, right? If you're if you're tall, you want to you want to um, be proud of that. So I'm using stand tall and stand out. And oh, okay. So a lot more people are joining in. Um, yeah, Colleen says she loves the touch of whimsy dye. I agree. Hi, Helen. Good to see you. Hi, Karen. Good to see you as well. Thanks for joining in. So I'm going to just stamp, stand tall and stand out right on this little piece. Then I'm going to take my little flower um, from the, of course, the Friendly Flamingo set. And I'm just going to stamp. I'm just going to fill this up with some flowers. Just kind of scattered randomly. across this piece. And I actually could even do a couple, maybe just a little stamped off ones there as well. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna set that aside. 
actually, I'm going to go ahead and attach this. This is going to, just going to be layered on this Daffodil Delight panel. My stamp and seal is almost at the end. If you see, I don't know if you can see this, but when you see that red, that means it's almost time to refill it. So we'll see if I can get through this. I have two of them here that I keep on my desk and I'm seeing red in both of them. So we'll see how far I get with those today. Um, oh, and now I have, I'm, I'm a member of the Inky Fingers Club today. Look at that, my, my fingers are all inky, but we'll just keep on going. Um, so now I am going to take this big flamingo stamp and I'm going to use Melon Mambo ink and get her inked up. I love the detail of this stamp. I know I talked about it on Monday as well. The feathers and the, the swirl of the feathers, I, I just love that. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp her on there. And because this is a photopolymer stamp, you know I like to use my deluxe foam mat. I talk about that all the time. So look at that, isn't that pretty? Look at the detail in that stamp. I just love that. Um, all right, so now I think I am ready to assemble my card. So I'm gonna close up my ink. Oh, and there was one other thing that I stamped. Uh, let me pull out a little. I've actually already stamped this, but I'll do it. I'll do it again. Um, this is with Daffodil Delight, and it is this little trio of flowers here. It's just a real small little little stamp, and I stamped that in Daffodil Delight ink on my white cardstock. Go ahead and stamp that, and then what I did was I used my stamp and cut and emboss machine to cut the die out. So you don't even have to fussy cut it. So that's how I cut that. And here is the one I've already stamped and cut out just to save a little time. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is attach my flamingo. I wanna hold this up, so just to make sure, look at all the detail in that stamp. Isn't that pretty? I, I love that. I, I just, I think they did such a great job when they made this stamp. All right, I'm going to attach this onto my Daffodil Delight. I love the colors of this card. I think it it's one of those color combinations. It's just bright and cheery, and we need that this time of year as winter and summer are kind of fighting it out. Okay, so then what I did, when, because this says stand tall and stand out, I thought I'm going to make this flamingo look really fancy. Um, and so what I did was I just popped this little, it's like she has a little fancy hat on almost. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a mini dimensional. I just couldn't resist. I just thought she needed that hat. Let me find a mini dimensional here. Okay, and I'm gonna stand up a minute cause I've gotta grab, here we go. Some of my white embossing or white baker's twine. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach her little hat little flower hat. Whoops. And I'll just position that because she is a fancy, she is a fancy flamingo, right? Look how funny. It's kind of funny, but I also think it's adorable. And like I said, I just could not resist. All right. And so that is going to attach, I'm going to move this ink out of the way. That is going to attach right here on the front piece like this, and it's gonna be centered. However, what you want to do, so this is how the easel card is gonna work. It's gonna fold back like this. You do not wanna put any adhesive on this part. So you don't, you only wanna attach your flamingo, the bottom, the bottom panel of the flamingo to the bottom panel of this easel, easel part. So let me go ahead and put my seal on the back of that and just center that. So that's going to fold up like that. And in a minute, I'll hold it, I'll hold it up so you can get a different angle. 
And then this is going to be the part that holds the, the um, easel card open. So what you want to do with this piece, and you could use, I actually thought about like using this piece as the easel part. That would have been really cute as well. I just thought um, I'd make it a little simpler this time um, and do it just on these rectangular pieces. But what you want to do with this piece is... Um, yeah, it's like, that's right, Debbie says it keeps the hot sun off her head, the poor little lady. Um, what you want to do with this piece is pop it up with dimensionals. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. And that's what keeps the easel card open. Have any of you made easel cards before? Like I said, this is the first time I ever made one, and it's, it's really fun. It's always fun to do something different. All right, so I'm gonna put this here and it's just gonna be positioned, kind of centered on there like that. It's popping up and then you can see how it holds the card open. So there's a different angle. So you can see just a different view, but I just think it's really fun. So when you put this in the mail, you would put it in the envelope like this and then it would just open up like that. Now I'm not done, I wanna add a few embellishments because if you're a fancy fancy flamingo, you gotta have some bling, right? So what I did, I'm gonna put her down flat a minute. I just took a little piece of white baker's twine. I tied a bow, and get my paper stamps. And I know I've told you this before, but Stampin' Up, they had an event last November and they sent all the participants a new, brand new pair of paper snips and they had little charms on them for us. It was really nice. They spoil us, and um, I will tell you, getting a new pair of these scissors made me realize how dull my other paper snips were and how often I use them, and I will say there's nothing better than a nice pair of scissors, right? These paper snips, like, they just cut everything so well. So I'm going to tie just a little bow with my baker's twine. And this is just going to go, I thought, I thought of a couple different ways to, to, to place this um, baker's twine. I was actually thinking, I want this bow to be pretty small. That's why I'm fidgeting with it so much. I don't want it to overpower our, our flamingo here. Okay, so there's a nice little bow. And I thought, you know what, it would almost be cute. Like I could put it under here. Like the bow, like the bow is holding her, like these are the strings to her hat. But I ended up deciding that I kind of liked it just right here on her neck. So maybe it's a necklace. What flaming, what fancy flamingo does not need a necklace, right? <laughs> so I'm going to put that in place with a glue dot. Like that. And then I have the playing with patterns resin dots and... I'm going to take a couple of those and attach them with my take your pick tool. So I'll put one, these are, these come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. I'm going to take one of the medium ones and just put it right there on her fancy little necklace. What do you think? I think she's pretty cute. So that's going to open up like that. And then I thought I would just scatter a few more of these onto these flowers that I stamp. It just pulls, it pulls more of that yellow color. So I'll just put a couple of those. You could put as many as you want, um, but I just kind of scattered them like that. So there is my easel card. And isn't she funny? She's just a fancy, fancy, funny flamingo, but I, I just, I think she's pretty cute. Okay, so that's a fun little, that is a fun fold idea. And like I said, you could, you'll get all the measurements for these on my blog tomorrow. I'll have them posted with a photo as well. So, um, and let me show you, this was the original one that I made. Um, and instead of using the yellow, I used Blushing Bride. And instead of the yellow cardstock. And um, I like them both. I don't know which one I like better. But I guess this morning, I don't know, I was kind of drawn to the Daffodil Delight color, so I cut extra pieces, and that's that's what I wanted to share with you today. So I don't know if you're a pink person or a yellow. Which is your favorite? Let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know. 
All right, so that's my first card for today. I'm normally a pink pink person. I always say that's what, I love pink. That's why God gave me four girls, right? Because pink is pink is one of my favorite colors. All right. So now my next card is a slimline card. And you know, I love slimline cards and I know that many of you do as well. They are super super popular and so let me get the parts and pieces in here for this. And again, I will have these measurements on my blog. Uh, they'll be up on my blog tomorrow. So I'm starting with just a basic white card base. I've already scored it, but I still like to take my bone folder. Yeah, so pink. See, okay, so Sarah likes the yellow. It does pop. You're right. Debbie likes the pink. Mary likes the pink. Colleen likes them both. Colleen's a Colleen's a diplomat, right? <laughs> she likes them both. I don't know. I think either one are pretty cute. All right, so here's my card base. And again, I am using the um, Sand and Sea Designer Series paper. And I love this because it reminds me of just waves washing up on the shore. And perhaps we will find a few flamingos standing, standing along here. I'm not going to attach this to my card base yet. And you will see why in a minute. So then I also, I pulled... Um, this designer series paper because to me it looks like sand and so to me this is like you know the waves washing up onto the sand so what I'm gonna do is take my fingers and pull this and I'm gonna use my thumb as the guide and I'm gonna pull this paper towards me because I want this white to show if you can see the white underneath when you tear this paper and I'm kind of using my my left thumb as a guide because I want this to be, um, I don't want it to be straight. I want it to, you can see I'm kind of going up and down. I want this to be sort of like a beach would look, like with the waves washing in in a kind of a random pattern. And really there's no right or wrong to do to doing this. I love tearing paper. I used to do it all the time and um, I don't do it as much anymore, but I should because I really like it. So there's my sand. Helen likes the pink too. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure which one. I, I like them both. I don't know. Anyway. All right. So I'm going to attach my sand now on top of my blue watery um, wave DSP, I guess I could say. Put that on there. And then I'm going to I'm going to take this away. I don't think I need that right now. Okay. So then what I did was I cut used I used this die cut with flirty flamingo cardstock and cut out many 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 flamingos. And here they are. I cut out six flamingos and they're going to be at the beach on my card. So um, then the other thing I did was I used this die and this is the wing. There are actually two dies for the wing. One is just plain and then the other one, I used this on Monday. It has like a, when you, when you crop it out, it has like a little um, indentation on it to make it, it gives, the, it gives the wings and the feathers a little bit of definition. But for this card today, the slimline card, I just used this plain one. And then what I did was I ran them through and I ran, well, I ran them through the greenery embossing folder because I thought it kind of looked like feathers. And I did some, because my flamingos are gonna be facing different directions, I embossed some this way with the with the embossing that way and then I did some this way so I switched it up depending on which way my flamingo was going to be facing so what I did and you know I forgot to do this at first on um, uh, Monday when I did my my card but what I did was I took I punched out some little circles um, you could also just take a skinny strip of basic black cardstock um, and I and I used it to attach the eyes behind the flamingo because we all kind of thought it looked better with something like that. So I 
I'm gonna go ahead and just put a teeny bit of glue back here. Just around the eye, and then I'll put this little piece of black and catch that in the glue. And then when you flip it over, you see just a little touch of black for her eye. And I have one other one. I've already done most of these. Um, and I have one other one. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing. Okay, so there are all my flamingos. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the wings. So I have some facing this way and then these two are going the other way. And so I'm just gonna position these. You can see, let me move this over a little bit so you can see. So like this one, obviously the wing is gonna go that way. That one goes that way. I'm just gonna position them all and then I'll just take, um, whoops, take my glue and adhere those. Okay, so there's all my flamingos. Oh, I forgot this one. There's all my flamingos. So I'm, whoop, oh my gosh, I think my hands are sticky because everything's sticking to them. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of glue and attach these wings in place. See if I can get my glue going here. Let's see, maybe it's stuck. Hold on, let me see if there's something stuck in there. You know what's gonna happen, I'll squeeze and it's gonna go all over the place. It's a pretty full bottle too. Okay, there we go, all right. So there's one. Go ahead and adhere her wings. Aren't they cute? Like we were all saying, you know what, I'm gonna grab a different glue because this one is, I, you know what I did? I, I think I did not put the cap back on when I was using it. And so I think that I think I need to take like a little pin or something and, and loosen it up. So let's see if this one is better. Yeah, this one, here we go. All right. There's that one. Now it's gonna go quickly. Whoop, now I'm gonna get too much glue on there, right? Okay, so there's that. Whoops, see, I got a little bit too much, but it'll just, I'll just rub it off. Like that. Okay, this one. So I've got six flamingos here. I'm gonna put five on the front, and then I'm gonna put one on the inside. So put that in place. You could actually pop these up if you wanted to with dimensionals. Normally I would do that, but I just, I thought I would do something different this time and keep them flat. Yes, Marsha um, Marcia played bingo last night, and we had so much fun. I gave away some really good products, and actually Mary's on here. Mary won one of the bundles um, that I gave away. I gave away two bundles, and we, we made four super cute cards. We used the Boho Indigo kit, and those cards were beautiful. In fact, I might grab those here in a minute and and show you what we did. Sarah was on bingo. We had a lot of people from bingo on here today. Um, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just position all of my flamingos. And again, I'm gonna attach these with my glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start, I'm gonna work from the left to the right. So I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue on her feet a little bit on her head here, just to make sure she's gonna stay in place. This card, I love this card. I, I just think it's super, super fun. And then of course, she needs a friend. I'm just gonna keep adding. <laughs> just gonna keep adding. Yeah, I tell you, once people play bingo, for the most part, they wanna come back because it's, it's really fun. Um, all right, so there's, the next flamingo. Just bear with me here because I have a lot of gluing to do. So she's gonna be, oh, I'll put her about right there. Hold her down a minute so she sticks. They're just kind of waddling around the beach and I know if you've ever been um, like to the zoo 
or even at the ocean and seeing a lot of flamingos. I know at the zoo, they were all like huddled up together, um, kind of running around and that was kind of fun. Kind of fun to see them. Okay, we do this. And I'll put that about right there. I'm just kind of placing these. There's no, I mean, you could just, you could do this, of course, however you want, but I'm just kind of, kind of putting them close together. I'm gonna to leave a little space here and then I'll put these next two. I'll tell you these flamingos, like I keep saying this, but truly they just make me happy. They, they, I think they brighten, brighten a day. They would brighten a day of someone if they received this card, that's for sure. And like I said, I heard from a lot of you about how much you love these flamingos. So, all right, so there's that one. And then I just have one more for the front. Yes, I think they're pink, Marcia, because they eat a lot of shrimp and flamingos. And the, I think the shrimp turns their coloring um, pink, which is kind of cool. All right, and I'm gonna put her about right there like that. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is just flip this over and I'm going to just cut off, a couple of these um, are hanging over a little bit. I'm just gonna trim those off, like those feet and this one little foot right here. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and trim those off so it's flush with my um, designer paper. And is that like, isn't that just cute? All, all gathered up, all, all together like that. All right, so then what I did was I took some of my favorite black and white Baker's twine. This is from that, I think it's called Playful Pets Ribbon Combo. It's red and um, the black, it's red ribbon, stitch ribbon, and then this black and white twine. And so I'm gonna just tie a bow and I'll attach this to one of the flamingos. And I'll put that right there on her. She's fancy. There has to be one in every group, right? All right. Now I'm going to I'm going to add some words. I'm going to do a little stamping and bringing in my little mat again. And this die is from the Ornate Frames. These were released originally from, they were with a Halloween suite, but they there's really nothing about them that are Halloween. And they're really cool like little frames and you can, you can cut out these frames and then put a, excuse me, put a stamped image on the inside of them. But they're really cute. They are very ornate. Some of them are ornate. And so I thought with fancy flamingos, this particular die would be really good. And you can see that's that's how I that's what I used for this. So those are the ornate frames. And I'm gonna use um, my basic black or my memento ink and just stamp your outstanding. that up and stamp it right on here like that and then this I am going to pop up so I'll use my mini dimensionals pop this up Someone asked me if I would be doing a class to go with this bundle and I am not, but like I said, you can go to my blog and print up the PDFs for these four cards so you can still purchase the bundle um, from me and and the um, you know any other products that you want like this paper. I would definitely get this paper to go with these flamingos. Um, you can shop at my online store, lauramilligan.stampinup.net. And if you use this host code, if your order is $50 or more in product, I will send you a, um, a surprise embellishment as a thank you along with a hand-stamped card. Okay, Colleen, this is interesting. A gathering of flamingos is called flamboyance. So this lady 
would fit right in, right? She is flamboyant. Isn't that funny? And then this one too. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. You're outstanding. And then this will just go right on my card front. I'm going to do this with my glue just because it's going to be quicker. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this. Position that right in place. I think this is perhaps one of the favorite, my favorite cards I've ever made. I don't know why, I guess just because it's so different. Okay, so there's that, and um, that's all I did for the front, and then I did something cute on the inside, and I wanna show you that as well. So I took um, a smaller piece of my Sand DSP. So if you like this, give me some hearts, show me some thumbs up. Um, and of course, share this if you have crafty friends that you think might be interested in, you know, having a fun little craft break during the day. Um, share this with them. I would appreciate it. So there's a little slope. I'm going to make this slope a little bit more like that. And I'm just going to position this in the corner here. Thank you, Debbie. Put that here. And then I'll just position, I have one more flamingo and I'll go ahead and, and position her right there. And so that's kind of a, a cute little way to dress up the inside as well. She's just gonna go right there. All right, so there's my card. And just look, it's so, don't you think it's cute? I think it's super, super cute. It has a cute little inside. Let me bring this one back in as well. It's a little bit more flamboyant. <laughs> there are the two, the easel card and the slimline card. And real quick, I'm gonna show you, um, if you missed bingo last night, let me just show you really quickly the projects because the ladies asked me they somebody I think it was Marcia actually she said I wish we could do this all the time so we'll be doing a bingo event they want they told me they wanted to do a bingo event in May so I will be doing that but these are the cards we made last night after we played our four games of bingo and look how cute this one was kind of a fancy had a fancy fold on it and um we used the Boho Indigo refill kit. Everybody got that kit, and they also got a double packet of ribbon. They got this um, open weave ribbon, and then it came also with this um, gold twine. I think this is the Forever Greenery, but unfortunately, the Boho Indigo packet has sold out. I still wanted to show you these, and then, of course, they got, not only did they get um, the Boho Indigo refill kit, double bolt of ribbon, I always send some kind of a treat, and this time it was a cute little decorated candy bar, and we just have a really, really good time. The prizes for Bingo are Stampin' Up! products, and I just wanted to show you those really quickly. I love, I always love a combination of blue and vanilla, or blue and white. These are vanilla, very vanilla. So I wanted to show you those, and then really quickly, I want to tell you again about my class, my, this is my bee box um, for April. This is for all the dog lovers out there, or if you know, if you have friends that are dog lovers, or if you just want to make a super, super cute set of cards. These are, again, some of the cutest cards I think I've ever made. And the bee box is $35. Registration is now open. It closes on April 29th, actually, so a week from today. And what is included is um, you'll get card kits to make six projects, and they are adorable. You can see a little snippet of them here. Um, one of them is like a bendy card. One is another fun fold card, and they really could not be cuter. And then you get a packet of metallic pearls. You get a double packet of baker's twine. This is in the gray and the knight of navy. 
and then you get a full packet. Mine is kind of a hodgepodge right now because I've been using this up, but you get a full packet of the Neutrals 6x6 DSP, and this a little bit goes a long way, so there's a ton of paper in here in the Neutrals, and you will use these things um, to, to put your card kits, to put your cards together, your six cards, and so you have, you'll have six ideas. I do a PDF tutorial with all the measurements as well as a video where I make each one of the cards so that you can stamp right along with me. And that's just $35. If you do need shipping, it's $8 priority shipping. Um, and then if you don't have the hot dog stamp set, let me show you that, it is adorable and that you can add that onto your you can either use stamps that you have and just substitute or you can purchase this for seventeen dollars and that is catalog price so that shaves you that saves you on um tax and shipping so you do get a little bit of a break um the only thing that you would need to provide are your inks and if you don't have these you can you can substitute or add them onto your class fee but you need the memento black that's a basic, everyone probably has that. And if you don't, you definitely need that. And then Mary Merlot and Knight of Navy. And then we use some blends to color the dogs. And again, if you don't have the blends, you need to get them because they're my favorite way to add color to any image. Any image. Um, some of you may have watercolor pencils. You could also use a blender pen with your inks to add color to these, but this is my preferred method um, of adding color. And so I used Knight of Navy. I used Smoky Slate. This is Poppy Parade. Um, and then this is Soft Suede and Crumb Cake. So those are the blends that I used. Um, we make all different kinds of dogs and they're super, super cute. And let me just show you, I'm going to show you quickly just one of the cards. Like, look how cute. It says, I miss you. It's been too long. And of course, we're making a play on it's been too long. And she is even dressed up. She is fancy as well with her cute little pearl necklace. So that's one of the cards. But you will get six ideas. And everyone is cuter than the next. They are adorable. So if you have not registered yet, um, you can email me and I will actually be posting the registration link in the description above this Facebook Live when I'm done today. You can click on that to sign up and I hope that you will join me with that. It is for all level of stampers um, and it's for local people as well as anyone in the United States. I can ship anywhere in the US. So let me pull these in again. You can have one little last peek at these and I'm going to switch my camera back up again. Try to anyway. There we go. Okay, here we go. So um, thank you for joining me as always. And I hope you had fun today. I, I always look forward to this time when I can share some fun ideas with you and hope that I've maybe given you some inspiration and encourage you to get out your um, some stamping things and maybe make a card or something today. Um, but I will be back on Monday. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do on Monday, but I will get it figured out. And I think I'll probably be showing a sneak peek or two from our upcoming new catalog. Um, it will launch in a little less than two weeks. So that's always exciting. Um, and so again, thank you for joining me. And as always, I hope you have time to be creative today. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.